These are scenes the Kremlin doesn't like to see. On Saturday, tens of thousands of people joining protests across Russia. The biggest show of opposition to Vladimir Putin in years. Authorities bluntly confronted it. Riot police at times beating the crowds. The number of people detained now over 3,700, according to a monitoring group. The protesters demanding freedom for Alexei Navalny. Vladimir Putin's fiercest critic, Navalny came back to Russia just over a week ago, returning for the first time since being nearly fatally poisoned by a nerve agent over the summer. Navalny was detained as soon as he landed in Moscow, then sent to prison by a makeshift court. I am calling upon you, don't be silent, resist, take to the streets. Nobody can protect us but ourselves. We are so many that if we want to achieve something, we will achieve it. His call to protest Saturday seen as a test of his influence and whether his gamble to return to Russia would pay off. For now, it seems it did. Protests taking place in over 100 cities, spreading to places where Navalny usually goes ignored. In Vladivostok, 6,000 miles from Moscow, police charging a crowd. People braving Russian winter temperatures, often below minus 20 degrees. In Siberia, riot police chasing demonstrators onto the ice of a frozen river. Outside Moscow, crowds were only in the thousands. But in a country where so much effort is put into suppressing opposition, their spread and energy was different. Together we're a force. It's a time of change. Don't be afraid. Get out. Together we can do it. Navalny has built his following through video investigations, exposing alleged corruption among Putin's allies. Last week, after he was jailed, he released a new one, a film that claims to expose a secret palace built by Putin on Russia's Black Sea. Navalny alleging the palace filled with staggering luxury, a personal casino, theatre, an underground ice hockey rink. Putin, in a rare step, commenting on the investigation today, saying it's a hack job and boring. The film, though, now has been watched roughly 90 million times on YouTube. The Kremlin has long tried to dismiss Navalny as not a serious opponent, but his return, having survived the poisoning attempt, is making that much harder. Authorities instead having to fall back on more repression. Senya and Dmitry decided to go to the protest in Moscow despite warnings from authorities that anyone attending faced arrest. So, like, to be prepared, we took, like, our passports, copy of passports, just to be prepared for, for anything. But that's, that's the plan, yes. And we have books. If we, yeah. if we will spend the night in the police station, we have books. We can read. <laughs> so we are ready. They said Navalny now represents more than himself. You can trust Alexei Navalny or not, but the things that happened with him is absolutely awful. I really strongly believe in the power of small steps. And that's my small step that I'm trying to do today. Navalny's team have called for more protests next weekend. The Kremlin now has to decide whether to keep Navalny imprisoned long term. A court hearing next week could see him jailed for years. More protests are certain. Unsettling signs for the Kremlin of a changing Russia. Patrick Rival for ABC News Live.